This is a fifth grade lesson on partition division. So what does partition division mean? Partition problems are problems in which the size of the set is unknown. This is often referred to as fair sharing, and the whole is shared or distributed among a known number of sets to determine the size of each. So here's the first problem. Mr. Brown divides his social studies class into two groups. He has six whiteboard markers to use equally between the two groups. How many markers will each group get? In order to find out if this is a partition problem, let's look at the parts of the question. What is the whole? We know that the whole is the six whiteboard markers. Is the whole shared equally among a known, known number? Yes, it's shared equally between the two groups in his class. What is the size of each set? It is the number of markers each group will get. This is what we want to find out. So yes, this is a partition problem. So let's solve the problem. We know that there are six whiteboard markers that we want to share among two groups. So we know from that that each group will get three markers. If we want to re represent this with numbers, we have six markers divided by two groups, or six divided by two, which is equal to three, or three markers per group. So in our next problem, Mrs. Rose ordered three and a half pizzas for the end of the year party at school. She teaches two sections of seventh grade math. How many pizzas will each class get for the party? So what's important to know in this problem is that she orders three and a half pizzas, she teaches two sections of math, and that we're looking to find out how many pizzas each class will get. We also know that one pizza is equal to the whole. So we have three whole pizzas and one half of another pizza. This is a mixed number. But we can also look at this as an improper fraction. In this case, it is 7 halves. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have 7 halves, 7 halves of a pizza. Because there's the same amount of pizza in each, we know that these two numbers are equal. So we have 3 and a half pizzas, or 7 halves, and two sections of math. So each class gets one whole pizza and half of another pizza, but we still have half of a pizza left over. So we cut this pizza in half so that each class will get another fourth of a pizza. So in total, each section gets one pizza and three-fourths of another pizza, or one and three-fourths pizza. If we cut half pizzas in half, Making fourths, we can also say that each class gets seven fourths of a pizza. Because again, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven fourths. We can also solve this problem numerically. It can be written as three and a half divided by two, or three and a half pizzas divided by two sections. This is a mixed number, and in order to solve this, we need to find an improper fraction. So to do that, we can multiply 3 times 2, which is 6, plus 1, which is 7, and then we keep the denominator the same. So we have 7 divided by 2, divided by 2 over 1, and 2 over 1 we know is the same as 2. This is an improper fraction. So in order to multiply, we keep the first fraction the same, and then we invert or flip the second fraction, and then multiply across. So we have 7 times 1, is equal to 7 over 2 times 2, which is equal to 4. So the answer is 7 fourths, or we could also say that it is 1 and 3 fourths pizza if we write it as a mixed number. But don't forget to label, so we need to put the pizza on. The third question, Scott rides his bike 3.5 miles in 1 fourth of an hour. How many miles per hour, or how fast, did he ride? So what's important to remember in this problem is that he rides his bike three and a half miles 
in one fourth of an hour. And we're looking to find out how fast he rides. We also know that our answer will have to be in miles per hour. So one way to solve this problem is by using a double number line. We'll use this amount to represent one mile and this amount to represent a quarter of an hour. So here we have three miles and another half mile for three and a half miles that he rides in one quarter of an hour. Now if we change this a little bit, we can see that he rides, uh, this amount is equal to half a mile, this amount is equal to a mile, and this amount is equal to one fourth of an hour. So he rides three and a half miles in a quarter of an hour, and another three and a half miles is seven miles in one half hour. So we keep adding three and a half miles and a quarter of an hour until we have three and a half plus three and a half is seven plus another seven is fourteen miles in one hour. So we can say that he rides his bike fourteen miles in one hour. So the answer to our problem is Scott rode his bike fourteen miles per hour. Now let's check our work by solving this problem numerically. We can write it as three and a half because we have three and a half miles divided by one fourth because we have one fourth of an hour. Again, this is a mixed number and we need to change it to an improper fraction in order to solve. So we take three times two, which is six, add the one, so we have seven, and then we keep the denominator, so we have seven over two. And then the second fraction stays the same. But in order to multiply, we keep the first fraction the same, and then we invert or flip the second fraction, so we now have 4 over 1. And then we multiply across the top first, so 7 times 4 is equal to 28, and then 2 times 1 is equal to 2. But this is it in its simplest form, so if we divide both the numerator and the denominator by 2, we'll have 14 over 1, which is the same as 14. But we're trying to find out how many miles per hour he rode, so don't forget to label and put on miles per hour, and then you solve the problem.